Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? What's going on? I'm Q the Costa Rican, and today we are in the UPA season one week. I want to say seven because, yes, sir, it's definitely week seven. We're in 2021 officially. The first UPA battle that we're recording in 2021. It's actually, I believe, January 1st. Yes, sir. Because we did upload. We did upload. We did actually just upload our battle against Cahoots, which was last week, uh, today, which is the first video being posted in 2021. But that was recorded, like, almost on, like, the day before Christmas Eve, I think. Or no, no, no. Yeah. Maybe it was Christmas Eve. I don't even remember. But either way, up today in the upa we're going up against incog coach of the boston cyndaquils and my man has quite the fire team it's a really weird team very slow team here's here's what they are you know mel metal big one super big threat mono steel type huge threat slap a choice band on that guy and he's just taking lives and we don't necessarily have a switch into it so i mean we kind of do but we're not bringing it um up next tapu bulu grass fairy type sets grassy terrain can be very annoying and help with his um bulky core that we're gonna mention soon gudra kind of a whole threat a lot, a lot of people like to rock assault vest with uh mixed attacks either physical special or even both at the same time power whip uh, earthquake stuff like that it gets a lot of random moves that uh you wouldn't really think it would get but it gets a lot of really good coverage moves up next i got suicune who uh y'all know on this channel how much we love suicune we uh man the sub call mind set just goes in i've seen him run some crazy assault vest mirror coach shout out to his battle with jay um so yeah and and it's his kill leader on his team with 10 of them things it's kind of wild a suicune with 10 kills i think i only got like four in the iba up next he has bronzong who is actually his only rocker he has mantine who's a water absorb slash Flying Mon. Galaxy at Swift Swim if he wants to run some Rain Dance offense. Up next, he has Reggie Eleki, which is kind of crazy. His fastest Mon, and it's a really fast Mon with base 200 speed. Uh, Polyrath, Golbat. I'm going to say Crobat. Golbat, Orin Guru, and G Max Appleton is his Gigantamax, which is kind of cool. He's only ever brought it once. Wow, okay. So that's pretty crazy. So yeah, man, it's looking like G Max Cinderace can kind of do uh, some good stuff here as long as he's not like Rain Dance, Mantine, or Polyrath. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know why I just randomly mentioned G-Max Cinderace for this matchup. I mean, G-Max Cinderace in this matchup does look kind of good, so that's mainly, mainly what I kind of just meant by that comment. But otherwise, let's talk about the team that we are bringing. Boom! We have Choice Specs Dragapult. Oh, crap. We didn't nickname this man Ham Sandwich. Yo, imagine if that would have happened, brothers. Oh, man. I would have been devastated if we weren't able to nickname. Well, I'll be right back. A few inches later. Oh my god, man. Imagine not nicknaming your Pokemon, bro. And and the mascot of all. That would have been wild if we would have went in with a Dragapult. The first time we bring... No, was it the first time? I think I brought Specspult um, in one of these other games. But yeah, man. Imagine the first time we bring in Specs Ham Sandwich is the best Ham Sandwich in a long time. And then we just forget to nickname him. That would have been crazy, crazy. Right, who is missing? Who is missing this one? Uh, and then we're going to go like uh, this. But yeah, all right, Specs Ham Sandwich is the best ham sandwich. We're bringing them today because uh, it kind of just goes in on everything besides like Orin Guru. Um, but I think a Draco into I, I'd probably U turn in front of Orin Guru. But yeah, either way. Up next, we got Apparition finally bringing Zorok back. Hadn't uh, used Zorok in a while. Um, offensively speaking, Zorok kind of just dents the gang. Um, Dark Pulse is good for Bronzonging Tins as well as uh, potential flinch change for Melmetal, but we'll probably click Flamethrower. Sludge Bomb for Bulu as well as Flamethrower. Assault Vest Gujar, once again, kind of goes in on this set, so eh, you know. But uh, we're a nasty plot, you know, to help just break the team kind of early on. I'm thinking of trying to do with uh, Zorok here, so we're going to see how that goes. Uh, up next, we got Go Tanks and Cinderace are G Max with the weakness policy, Powerball, High Jump Kick, Acrobatics, and U Turn. So, rocking out with um, weakness policy, because I really don't see him uh, bringing rocks this game. And if he does, it's just Bronzong. And hopefully we can just knock it out like early and not have to deal with that. Like I'm try I'm gonna probably try and just nasty plot with Zorok turn one and see how it goes. Uh depending on who he brings, of course. Um But yeah, cause and then like just just hoping for the, the Cinderace weakness policy endgame, man. We'll probably don't necessarily need the uh, the acrobatic speed boost uh in G Max form unless we see Reggie Eleki still alive. We'd have to get the plus two, I believe, in order to outspeed it. Um, and then, yeah, then, yeah, like, it's just, it's just, it's just really good here. It outspeeds a lot of his team. I forgot to mention, we're, like, literally no speed investment on Dragapult because we just don't need it. Because we don't, we don't already outspeed, uh, the Regieliki anyways. 
and we already outspeed every other thing on his team uh, without any investment whatsoever. So I guess like borrowing like Scarfers, of course, um, like Scarf Bulu or something. But Bulu just doesn't look real that, that, that good here at all, in my opinion. So I really don't see him bringing it. Um, but yeah, man. So like, we're, I think we're max HP, max special attack on just Dragapulse. It's pretty funny. Um, up next, we got Choice Specs, Rota, Moeke, Grassman with the Vote Switch, Leaf Storm, Dark Pulse, and Thunderbolt. Um, Specs, mainly because I don't think he has a ground type on his team. So, like, Specs, Vote Switch is pretty free. Um, obviously, disregarding the Gudra, which we necessarily don't have much for the Gudra, now that I'm thinking about it out loud. Huh. Weird. Up next, we got Sub Call Mine Becky with the good hair with Skull Draining Kiss. This could potentially go in if we can get it in front of the Bronzong. And uh, sub up in front of a potential toxic, and then call mine and just kind of go for game at that point uh, with Becky because it really doesn't need any speed. Like I said, um, it just doesn't need it. Uh, Rotom is also max speed for the max speed Suicune bring. Uh, the Suicune does look pretty decent against my team. Uh, isn't bad, I don't think. So that's also why I respect Rotom to tr try to like hurt that thing like uh, straight away, especially if he gets a call mine up. Now we're kind of on neutral grounds with our Thunderbolt. We get to spam it. Um, yeah, so that's subcom on Becky. And then last but not least, uh, Niki Lego, who I forgot to nickname as well. Oh my god, we're just gonna keep it this way. Um, whatever. Uh, we kind of just hazard, hazard stacking Niki Lego, because Toxic Spikes looks good on the potential six that he could bring. Um, unless he brings Melmetal and Bronzong. Like, if he brings Melmetal, Bronzong, Mantine, um... And Golbat, that'd be kind of a weird sick uh, four to bring. So I really don't think he would bring those four in particular. But if he does, then like Toxic Spikes aren't gonna necessarily be all that good. But Stealth Rocks still go, still go a long way here. And um, Power Gem Sludge Bomb basically just for stab. Um, kind of get hard walled by the Bronzong, but that's why we have uh, Primarina to sub Calm Mind in front of it. So that's what we'd hope for. I don't think he would Toxic in front of uh, a Nikki Lego if anything he'd, he'd Psychic or Earthquake or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, we probably would actually go to Rotom and then. We'll switch. I don't know. Either way, uh, we're gonna connect with my man Incog, and I'll see you all when the battle starts. All right. Uh, let's see. What is the team? This one, right? Specs, 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 specs. Yes, sir. Specs is the name of the game. We have a lot of special attackers, which is kind of now worrying me a little bit. Like for like assault vest, uh, Melmet, of course. All right. Well, we've said good luck, have fun in the chat. So we'll see how it goes. I'm very eager to see how this goes. My first time fighting this guy. Don't really know how he likes the battle, so I'm eager to see if I can uh, learn and adapt and whatnot. And whatnot. We're going to take a picture of the team, of course, because you know it. Press A at the start and signal. We're spamming it. We're spamming it. We're spamming it. We're spamming it. There we go. All right, let's see. Uh, didn't really anticipate, like, a perfect six. Oh, he brought Rain Gang, or at least a form of it. And he brought Bulu. No Appleton, so that's actually pretty fire. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty dope, actually. Um, ooh, no Bronzong, so literally no rocks. Rocks mean nothing to us. Um, I guess I kind of want to lead off with, let's see. Okay. Man, I kind of wish I would have brought, no, Claydol didn't, Claydol wasn't good here, never mind. It gets bought by, like, half his team. And if he's, like, power, yeah, okay. So I think I may just lead off with, um, the Zorak. And... Let's see, what do I disguise it as? Or maybe I want to see what his initial Um No no, we're gonna go we're gonna we're gonna disguise ourselves as Rotom like we like we kind of planned. Not really planned planned, but kind of planned to disguise ourselves as Rotom. Let's just do it. Alright, cool. So yeah, Bulu lead. Uh, that'd be good for uh the freaking Zorwork. I could just sludge bomb turn one. Cause there's really no sludge bomb switching besides uh what's it called? Uh Asalves Gudra and uh what's it called Golbat. Probably Eevee like Golbat. Alright. Weird team. Not gonna lie. Didn't bring his G-Max. So that's kind of good for us. But he's not brought his G-Max quite, quite often. And I gotta see if the face... I, I moved the face cam area. And I didn't test to see how it looked like in-game. So now this is gonna be the test. I'm gonna see if it's covering the health bar or not. And I hope it's not. But alright. Let's see. We get the generic background. My man's got Bruce Waves. Which is the Golbattingtons. And I am a, a okay, so this is kind of cool. Like Volt Switch is really free if I was actually Rotom. Okay, so we're just barely not covering the HP route. Can I like scroll down like right there? There you go. That's fine. Okay. Um. So yeah, I kind of want a nasty plot turn one because I don't think he'd stay in. Actually, he could um. He could uh freaking. 
your turn? I just think it's your turn. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for the Dark Pulse, actually, instead of Nasty Plotting. He does U-turn. Oh, this is gonna hurt, actually. <laughs> I forgot, I'm a Zorwerk. Damn, that sucks that it shows him I'm Zorwerk before he does that, right? That kinda sucks. So he is faster, so he's either Jolly Max Speed, or... Um... He's Scarfed. He goes out in a Swirl, which is this thing. Okay, fire. Does this thing get Mach Punch? I feel like it does. Poly, Wrath. Gets Drain Punch. I think I just, I think I kind of just lose um, Apparition this early on. Nah, no, I don't. I'm gonna go out Rotom. Oh, I should probably go Becky actually. Becky makes more sense. But now I'm gonna go Rotom. I should have just led Rotom. Had I led Rotom, that'd have been fire. I should, I could have just Volt Switched pretty freely. But, yeah. Poison jab. He predicted it. This ain't killing me. I refuse to believe. Let's go. I'm glad we didn't go prim. Oh, we get the poison, though. That sucks so much. Um, Does Volt Switch knock this thing out? I'm assuming it does. Volt Switch does not. Thunderbolt does, though. So, I'll gladly Thunderbolt. Actually, no. He's got to go. He should go. Uh, What's it called? Bulu, I think. We're out recording. Good stuff. Good stuff. See, so yeah, alright, let's get let's get let's get into this game. Let's get back into this game. Definitely should have let off with Rota, but that's it's in the past. Can't can't do can't change that now. But yeah, you should 100 percent go out into Bulu, I think. Um, and then we volt switch out into probably back out into Zorwerk. He stays in. Hopefully this gets the KO. It does not. That's unfortunate. He's gonna jab again. 100 percent 100 percent he's jabbing again, right? Um, I think. Oh, man. I think now I have to sack off Apparition. Because I don't want to take any damage on Primarina. Right? Uh, Poison Jab. Oh, wow. It does nothing to Prim. But I don't want to get Poison with Prim either. Um, how much does it do to... Mickey Lego? Um, well, I guess the water move is pretty free here, too. I'm actually just going to... I'm just going to go Apparition. And if he, if he knocks me out, he knocks me out. It's whatever. It's whatever at this point. Really didn't see the Polyrath showing up, but it's, it's putting in work for him, so... Shout out to him. Definitely should have Thunderbolt or Rotom. Could have knocked this out, could have kept Apparition. Um, but now I think I just Volt Switch now. Right? We're faster. Yes, we are. Alright, yeah. Now I think I just Volt Switch now. Again. I don't think we take a uh, poison chip right now. I'm pretty sure we don't. Okay, good stuff. This sucks though, cause now Rotom's on a timer. It's like not the it's not toxic timer, but it's still poison timer, which kind of sucks. But at least now we get the vote switch. Um, and then let's see, what do we pressure? Let's see. He does withdraw this time. Okay, cool. So we get momentum. Dropping. Gudra, okay. Fire. Uh, was that Assault Vest? Because if that's not, I 100% want to just go Dragapult. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, Rotom, Rotom, Rotom. Vote Switch does 9 to 11. Uh, I can't really tell. Um... Dang, this is a tough turn here. I think I, I think I could kind of just go. Wait, can I just? Yeah, wait. Could I? Should I go Cinderace here? And just try and do it. Let's see. G Max Airstream is it to a KO? Actually, no, it's not. Let's see. Wait. Max Knuckle into plus one. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go Cinderace here. And pressure. I could U-turn here though. I could U-turn here. But I, I mean, like, I don't really, uh, I guess Suicune's still there. Huh. I kind of just want to do it, though. No, this is my end game. Yeah, this is my end game. I can't do that yet. This is my end game. He probably does stay in here, though. And just tries to eat the Dynamax. But I think, like, I think if he... 
I guess I guess we'll find out a little bit about his moveset if he stays in. Cause we'll go we'll probably go prim. Um anticipating EQ or Hydro Pump, whichever one. Um and then yeah, we'll see what happens there. And then if he shows toxic, that's gonna really suck because we don't want to get toxic with Prim. And he does stay in. So we're, we're probably gonna go Prim Arena. Made a decent chunk. Did a decent chunk. Let's see. Ooh, do, or do we go Nikki Lego? No, because if Earthquake is coming out here, we're dead. Um we could go Rotom, but that makes no sense. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Becky. If he fires off the toxic, that's just a good play. But I'm gonna hope he doesn't. Becky with the good hair is out here. Surf. Okay, cool. So the special. Special. Special, special, special. So Guja with Surf. Sludge Wave to Primarina is only doing 25%. Um, and I am not faster. I am not faster. Um, oh, wait, no, no. That's if I'm Dynamax. Whoops. Sludge Wave is a 2 KO. <laughs> so I could wait. So if I plus 1, then it's not. And I can gain HP back with Draining Kiss. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to Calm Mind, I think. I kind of want to sub. Um, But I think they would just Sludge Wave here. Let's see. Because, no, they can just go out in a Bulu, actually. Bulu makes a lot of sense. I'm going to sub here. Damn, they do just Sludge Wave. Okay, so if we don't get Poison, this is going to be good. Okay, if we don't get Poison, no Poison. Dang it. But now I think I just Draining Kiss. Man, I actually... Damn, Loki, I kind of still want to do that with Cinderace. I should have just done that with Cinderace, Loki. I think I might have been able to just sweep there. I might have been able to. Huh. Because he, he surfed there. He was going to activate the weakness policy 100%. Dang, that's kind of unfortunate. Well, the Prim set didn't come into play. Should have been Assault Vest, like last week. Assault Vest was definitely probably better in this, in this matchup. Like, spe specifically this scenario. Because now we're just going to get... Two it KO'd. And I guess now I could go Cinderace. And just, uh. I don't know. It's unfortunate. Because, let's see. Do they. If I go Cinderace, I think, I think a U turn does just knock it out. Yeah, U-turn is 27 to 32. That's what it looks like it's at about. But I would want a Dynamax and get off a, like a Max Knuckle. But now I can't. Dang, so what else can hit me with super effective damage? Suicune can. So I can still Suicune. Um, dang, I think, I think I still do have to go Cinderace. And U-turn. Because their max HP, 27. It does 27 minimum. Uh, that looks like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's at, it's at 27. So now we U-turn again. I think I need to play a little faster. My timer, I think, is ticking down a bit. I haven't really paid attention to it. Huh, but all right. Yeah, man. I think I should... Maybe I should have just went for it with Cinderace. I think maybe I potentially could have just swept there. Uh, but we can still get we can still get it in front of uh, Suicune. Which would be really good. Because if he's defensive Suicune... Uh, we'll be able to break it uh, after he, like, scalds us. And he can't burn us because, you know. Oh, he withdrew. Nice. So, Rocky Helmet Mon? Swirl. Which is this thing. Which may not knock it out. Oh, it didn't. Okay, okay. Um. I think I just go out into Rotom and Volt Switch again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I just go out into Rotom and Volt Switch again. Man, this thing could have been dead already. And Rotom wouldn't have been... And Rotom wouldn't have been poisoned. No, yeah, it would have. Rotom wouldn't have been... Uh, I think he wouldn't have been lower than he is currently. I don't think Aqua Jet knocks me out here. So, I think I think it's pretty safe. Uh, Volt Switch. He could just Aqua Jet for Chip, though. Uh, which would make sense. Which is why I didn't go Niki Lego. I, was wa I wanted to, but I didn't. Didn't necessarily think it was uh, necessary. <laughs> but we haven't gotten our hazards up with Niki Lego yet, either. Which is kind of a little devastating. Probably should have done that soon. Alright, so... No Gudra. Well, no, Gudra's still alive. I think it's just no... I think it's just no... Uh, what's it called? Um, I think it's just... I'm going to go back out into Cinderace. I think it's just no... Um, I 
We're just gonna, I'm, I'm calcing right now, guys. <laughs> We're just going to assume it's defensive uh, Suicune. Let's see. Okay, so... After a plus one... All right, so I would max Joseph. All right, Suicune, sick. All right, so I would... Let's see, I max, I max Knuckle, right? I do 17. I get to plus one. He scalds me. I get to plus three. Oh, wow. Then a max air stream doesn't do it. Okay. So I think I max Knuckle here. Um. Yeah, I think I max Knuckle here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it now. Because he should probably scald me. Unless he toxics me, then that's a good play, too. Or I guess he could sub to waste turns. He could sub to waste turns. He could sub to waste turns. That's a thing he could do. Or he could protect. Protect also makes sense here. Nope, okay. So this should be doing 17-ish. If he's, all right, so is that about 17-ish? C, 83. Yeah, it's about 17-ish. Agility. Oh, yikes. He's going for it, kids. All right, so now we're plus one. Well, now I just max Airstream. So I can be fast in this thing, I think. Liquidation. Let's go, kids. Oh, lowest defense. That's not good for the, for the gang. Let's go. Weakness policy. Pop it off. Come on, brother. This probably doesn't knock it out. Oh, let's go. That's good. That's good. Because now we can get another plus one uh, for the Reg Yelki. I actually don't know if we outspeed this currently. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Which would suck because he got the defense drop. Oh, my God. If we don't outspeed this at plus one, that's actually going to suck, suck. Let's go. We do. Oh, my God. That was so clutch. All right. Sick, 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 sick. Um, so, unless he Sash Eleki, I think, I think we may potentially run away with it here. There is also a chance that Eleki just also outspeeds us, so that's also a thing. So, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. We'll see right now. Uh, because if he's, like, Scarf Eleki, or he might, if he's just, like, Max Max, he may just be Max Max Eleki. Let's see, this, this is gonna, if he's, if he's Focus Sash, then this is gonna be where I wish I had Rocks up. And then we're just going to blame, you know, me, obviously, because there's no one else. Bans is the Eleki. All right. If he is, if he's Jolly, I outspeed. So, yeah, he has to be Sash. Has to be Sash. So, everything knocks it out, right? Um, ooh, I have to go for the Powerball. So, I guess I have to land, too, which we always land, right? We're well-trained go tanks. Let's go for it, brothers. Don't show me the sash, please. Let's go. We land. Best animation of the game right here, folks. No sash, brothers. No sash. Let's go. Go tanks with the KO on the Eleki. You'd love to see it. Who else? Who's next? Bulu? Dead. No grassy glide. Golbat also dead. Hold on. If it's Bulu, can I safely acrobatics? Oh, it's Kucha. Um, does this thing get... I don't care. It does get gooey, but I still don't care. Acrobatics is still the play. Acrobatics is 100% the play. Oh, yeah, let me see if I can... In fact... Okay, I can do that to Bulu for sure. Even if he's... Koba? If he's Koba Berry, then no. Alright. We'll see how this goes. Bruce waves. Yo, I think we might have to go for the Powerball here, actually. Go, Baddingtons. Oh, wow. He can... This thing can live... If he's max, max, defense, max HP, this thing has a chance to live a Powerball. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't, right? Let's go. Come on, go tanks, brother. He don't miss. He just doesn't miss. Knock him out for the one time. Let's go. All right. Shout out to Gotenks. Okay, so I'm glad I waited for the Gotenks sweep then. I'm glad I set it up in front of Suicune instead of uh, Gudra. I think I would have definitely had more HP if I would have set it up in front of Gudra. Um, but at the same time, who knows if it would have worked, right? 
because I wouldn't have got the plus one attack. Um, and then I think we just go. I think we just go for the what's it called, the acrobatics, on this man. Show him we got it. I think we already showed him we had it, but I'm just gonna go for it again. If he's Cobra Berry, he's Cobra Berry. Then we won't get the final sweep with uh, Cinderace. But I'm hoping he's Scarf or Bandit. Or Lefties or something like that. Alright, yep, no Cobra. Nice. Yo, that was dope. Yo, Tra Trapu Bulu is a funny name. That was lit. Alright, man. That was a good match, man. Way to, way to wing it. ring in 2021 with three wins in a row. In case you guys don't know, we did UPA, IBA, and UPA, like, back to back to back like when a matter of a week of each other so that's why i mean that's what i mean when i say three in a row obviously this is getting posted a week after those battles and i could have lost in between those times but but yeah man big shout outs to my opponent uh incog coach of the boston cynicals go check him out link to his channel description down below this was all the other coaches in the upa um really good really good match clearly the mvp was cinderace and probably wrote him uh, i'm not gonna lie don't know actually yeah who else like got ko's it's probably just cinderace and wrote him Right? Big shout out to Cinderace. Big shout out to the Go Tanks. You'd love to see it. But that's going to be it. If y'all like this song, tell what you like. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.